Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So this video is all about RESTful API verbs or you can also say HTTP verbs or HTTP methods. So till now we have studied only two verbs or two methods that is GET and POST and all of you are aware that GET is used to read something and POST is used to post something to the server. So in this video, we are going to see few more verbs that we can use in Web API. So let us see. So first of all, we'll see what is raised verbs or HTTP verb. So these verbs basically specify an action that can be performed on specified resource. What it means? Either you can read that resource, either you can create a new resource, you can update a resource or you can delete a resource. So these actions are specifically mentioned by your HTTP verb. Now, the most important thing about this HTTP verb or RESTful API verb is that it comprises a major portion of uniform interface constraint. If you remember, in very beginning of this web api series i have explained you the different different constraints for restful api so whenever you are going to implement a restful api you have to follow this constraint and one of this constraint is uniform interface so what uniform interface means interface means what interface means basically you are trying to interact with that specific device or with that specific things through a medium okay means uh, let us take one example suppose you want to operate your tv so your remote is an interface through that remote you are operating your tv or through that switch panel on your tv you are trying to interact with your tv okay so basically your switch panel or your remote is an interface similarly if i want to interact with my web api i need an interface and that interface is provided by http verbs or restful api verbs now the most important thing about this interface is that it is a uniform interface now what uniform interface means so across all the web apis that are available or that are going to be created it should be having uniform interface now what uniform interface means for all the web apis that are available or that are going to be created in future should have uniform interface means to read a resource there should be a uniform interface for all the web APIs means I will use only a get verb to read the resource in all the web APIs that are available or that or that are going to be created. If I want to create a new resource, I will use post verb or post method to create a new resource, and this will be common for all the web API. So this means what? uniform interface so whenever you are going to create your own restful api in that case you have to follow this constraint so as a developer definitely you can alter the code under each and every method you can swap the code means under the get method you can write a code of creating a new resource under post method you can write a code to read the resource definitely this is possible as a developer because as a developer we can change the code right but as I said, we have to follow this constraint. Whenever you want to read something, you should use get method only. Hmm? Now, let us see what are the primary and most commonly used HTTP verbs available in RESTful API. So, the first one is post, then get, put, and delete. So, these four verbs are most commonly used. And these all the four verbs corresponds to crude operations respectively means post represents for c which is nothing but create get represents read put represents update and delete represents d that means 
delete. So in most of the cases in application programming, majority of works includes crude operations and this four HTTP works represents the crude operations. So that's why these are most commonly or you can say primary verbs in RESTful API verbs. There are other verbs also which are less frequently used and that are options, patch and head. As we move ahead, definitely uh, we are going to see these less frequently used verbs. So time being we are going to concentrate on this primary verbs. So let us understand this each and every verb in detail. So first of all, you see what is get and yeah, definitely we used get and post multiple times. So I don't think you need an explanation of this, but again, I'll revise it. So get is basically used to request a data or you can say if you want to read any particular resource. In that case, what you will use? You will use a get request. Then the next most commonly verb is post. So whenever I want to create something on the server or whenever I want to create a new resource, I will use post request or post method or you can say post verb. Now the next one is put verb or put method. It is basically used to create or replace a resource and most probably we use this put verb to update and resource. So how it works basically? So if your resource is present, it will modify it. And if your resource is not present, a new resource will be created. In this way, put basically verb. And the last one is delete, which is used to delete the available resource. Definitely, it should be available on the server. Then only it can be deleted. So I hope uh, you understand this most commonly used and primary HTTP verbs or you can say method also. If you have any doubt or any concern, you can definitely write it to the comment section. In upcoming video, we are going to see all these verbs in action and practically.